How's it going guys and welcome back to Roan's Corner. Today we're getting back into regrowth. I think this is episode 8. We've been going for a bit now. Now you can see in the background that I've got things still the same on this side. But if we have a look over here. I've started to add on some extra areas. Now this is only a small area for now. But uh, I'm thinking that I'm going to try and make this like a flower room. Sort of like for Britannia and all that sort of stuff. And I don't know, I'll make it a couple of layers high or something like that. And uh, put different bits of uh, Britannia on each level. I've got a stream going through the middle of it. I was just bored, so I decided to do something different. Um, I'm probably going to do this wall in marble. I'm getting tired of looking at this cracked sand all the time. It's just ugly. And the marble, I just love marble. Just lean up against the smooth cold stone and just just rub your face on it for a little bit just caress it it's so nice anyway over here we've got some living rock going and some living wood now we are going to need this stuff for today's episode because we're going to do a little bit more of the starting stuff for Britannia now, I think I've said this in a previous episode before, this Britannia is like the backbone of this mod pack. It really, really is. It is the backbone. There is so much stuff that is in it that is going to come in massive use later. I've got some oak saplings over here because I'm trying to get some wood. Because that is always the one thing that you run out of. Well, I suppose in this mod pack, there's wood. But, you can't use it. Oh, that's another thing we're going to get to today. We're going to go visit the ocean. Alright, so let's get into our book. And, oh, I might just have a quick munch here. Give me two seconds. Okay, two seconds are up. Uh, what the world came to be. We're going to get into this. And we're going to make Spreading the Love. This living wood seems to be able to channel and direct mana around the world in ways you never would have thought possible, and the living rock hoards mana directed at it, only releasing it under direction of the wood. The Lexica Britannia will try and trick you as to the recipe for the mana spreader. Any eye is your friend. Alright, so we've got to make mana spreader and diluted mana pools. Now, they are telling the truth when it comes to the recipe for the mana spreader. Where is that book? go because in the actual recipe uh, mana manipulation yeah mana spreader the actual recipe calls for oh okay and they've changed it into this okay fair enough well um the actual recipe was using a gold ingot so they may have um fixed that i'm not sure oh okay Gaia mana spread. I haven't seen that one before. I've seen Elven and the Red. Oh, I haven't seen the Redstone mana spread either. Cool. Um, yeah. So okay, fine. It used to use a gold res uh, gold ingot instead of just all living wood blocks here, but uh, I guess they fixed it. So we're going to come over to our little growing area, and I'm probably going to shift this over to there. But I'll do that in between episodes. I should have really done that already, but oh well. So we're gonna get a oh 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 okay okay. Now I had this sapling. It's a purple amaranth sapling, and I had a look at it in the NEI to see what kind of wood planks it would make for me. And they look good. They really do. It's a beautiful dark purple. So I decided to plant it in here and get it to grow and see if I can get some more saplings out of it because if you put it in here have a look at that have a look at that beautiful wood ah oh, purple is one of my favorite colors so you know just oh nice nice just like using that as the floor or a roof even all right well enough drawing over wood <laughs> Sorry. Um, enough drooling over planks, I should say. And let's get into making this mana spreader. So it's just a C out of living wood and a mana petal in the middle. And we have ourselves a mana spreader. Now the mana spreader 
you put it in like in the middle of plants and stuff like of, of what we've got over here in the middle of these sort of things and we're actually gonna put this up higher I'm gonna put it up so we'll go yeah we'll go too too high and chuck it up there because that way it can collect all of the mana spread all around here and it can shoot it to where we need it oh oh sapling sapling yes give me more sapling give me more sapling give me sapling sapling okay cool I'm happy I got two saplings more purple wood alright um oh <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting so distracted today. And the next thing we're going to do is diluted mana pool. And yes, I know you guys are probably out there saying today you get distracted all the time. Yes, I do. I have a very short attention span. You guys are very lucky that I've made it up to episode 8. But I like Minecraft. Alright, so we've got diluted mana pool. It's just like an upside down helmet made out of living wood. Let me get into a book. And we've got them both. But now we need to make it into a proper mana pool because this is only a diluted mana pool this this doesn't hold all that much and you can't do all that much with it so in order to make a full-fledged mana pool we need to make a second mana pool and we'll put you there because that will eventually oh, yeah. good going Ryan good going and we'll put you there yeah that's lined up because eventually that's going to fill up with mana, and we're going to throw the di uh, second diluted mana pool into the uh, into the pool of mana, and it'll turn it into a proper mana pool. Wow, that was a tongue twister. Okay. Now, in order to make sure that the mana is going where we want it to, we need to tell that mana spreader to shoot the mana that it collects, at that mana pool. How do we do that, you ask? Well, to do that, we need to make a wand of the forest. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. Sorry. The Lexica Britannia mentions a wand which lets you see the flow of mana more clearly. It sounds like it will be useful for making sure your botanical systems are working. Okay, so we need to make this. And how do we make this, you ask? Well, we need to get three living wood twigs. That is just normal living wood made just like I would make sticks, except this makes one per two instead of four. And then we get mana petal on either side. It doesn't matter what color. Doesn't matter if it's two different colors or the same colors. It doesn't matter. They don't change anything. It just changes the look of it. And we get one of the forest. Now, as you can see, Shooting! Ow! 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 Damn spider! Fuck off! Now, as you can see, this is just shooting straight into nothing. So we're going to click you. Oh, shift click you. No. Bind mode. Now we shift click you and shift click you. Okay. Now to change those modes, if you crouch or hold shift and you click into air. It will change between function mode and bind mode. So bind mode, if you shift and click, you'll select it and shift and click and you'll like tell it where you want it to shoot. It's good stuff. Now we're going to have to wait until the morning for that to even think about start filling itself up because these day blooms only work during the day. They don't work at night. So I'm going to do a few quick things off cam. Actually, no, I won't do a few quick things off camera. I'll do something else with you guys right here, right now. Because I said about going to the ocean over there. Now, as I think we discussed in an early episode, if you go into water, you drown very quick. And I mean, like, very quick. So, in order to stay afloat, we need. I think it's in What the World Enables. Yes, deep breath. You've seen a few things at the bottom of the ocean that might prove useful. It seems some life has survived down there. However, the water is so cold you're having trouble holding your breath. Maybe you can make something to help with that. So we need to make a snorkel. In 
for reward we get seven pearl oysters <laughs> all right so we look up snorkel you see it needs two sugar canes which we've been growing over there but we also need two glass lenses now to make a glass lens we need planks and a block of glass we have the planks we have the planks all up in here all up in this place but we need to make the glass God, i've got so much crap in my inventory come on Ray. get with it clean up clean up excuse me on the moment oh that's a tall tree wow that's a tall tree cool it's gonna be a lot of wood I'll put you back in there all right now come over to our furnish and how much do we need two we'll put a bit in there though we'll put what 16 in there because we may need it for something else later on and while that's cooking we'll come over here and we'll chop this tree down some of this stuff you probably will look at and go oh my god another guy is just doing crap to fill in time well that sort of thing doesn't take that much time to complete so if I was to say I'll be back in just a second after this is done it would literally be just a second so there's no point in you know just saying oh, see it's already done so there's no point in turning around and saying look we'll be back in just a second when this you know I, I, I think you guys get the picture and rant glass lens there we go, and there's one piece of sugar cane, and I'm pretty sure we've got some more somewhere. Now what? This is great. Screw it. We'll take this. I can't wait to get lots of that uh, purple wood. The amaranth wood. And we've got snorkel! Okay, we put those on. Now these go in the helmet area. So, you can't wear this and armor. Did I hear a skelly bum dying? Please say yes. Oh, I think I saw a um, dire wolf over there. And an enderman. Whoopa enderman. Okay, so we made these, but I think there's an extra bit to the quest that we have to do. Detection. Yes, we've got to find a pearl oyster. So we find a pearl oyster. We've got to come down into here. Because they grow in the water. There's also lots of gravel down here, which will be helpful. Now we gotta, we're gonna have a quick look and see if we can find one of these. Either grass? Does that go? Oh, I think that just gives us like cactus green. Oh, yeah, cactus green is still okay. I'm happy with cactus green. Oh, there's some normal sand over here. Oh, come on. Dried kelp. How is it dried? It's in the water. Oh, I'm out of inventory space again, aren't I? <sighs> How to dive, breathing underwater. Oh, okay. Well, that for one can go in our little uh, extras book. Come here. In the book you go. In our little book binder. Um, what else can we get rid of? Hmm. Get rid of the glass? No. We'll get rid of the spider eye. We don't need the spider eye. Oh, what's this? A water hive. Oh, that's from bees. I don't like bees. Bees are annoying. If we really have to, and you guys really want to see it, then we'll get into bees. But uh, if I don't have to do it, I don't really want to do it. I know late, much later on in the pack, you need to do it, especially if you want to get 100%. But... Uh, at this point in time, I don't think it's worth boring you guys. Again, some of you might not get bored. Some of you might actually, you know, not have any idea how to do this sort of stuff. Or, you know, you just want to learn. Want to learn a bit more about it. So, uh, if that be the case, then we can learn together. Because I know jack all about it. All I know is that it's extremely boring! Um, actually, I think... Oh, the world enables? No? Encoding of the world. Yeah, in this one, we actually need to work with bees and we need to work with fish. Both of those are pretty much more or less the same. Alright, we've got our tree over there so we can 
figure out where we are. Where the hell are these oysters? Oh, clay. We need this stuff. Grab some of this over here. And you can see now our breath is lasting a lot longer, which is good. I think this actually lasts a little bit longer than um, like vanilla breath. I think. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it does though. So. Come on! Serious? Still no oysters. Eat underwater. Mmm, soggy monster jerky. Tasty. Alright, I think I might actually pause this here and I'm going to go for a cruise around and see if I can track down an oyster because every time that I've played this it's actually been rather easy to find an oyster. It's been like one right just in the water. But, uh... They're deciding to hide from me now, which is quite annoying when you're trying to record. When you're not recording, who cares? But when you are recording, it's when you prefer things to go a little bit smoother, a little bit faster. So, uh, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, we're back. Now, I haven't found a oyster just yet, but I've been digging up some clay in here because we're going to need clay soon. And just using this little trick here, this is amazing. Have a look at all this wildlife underneath the ocean. Now, if you come here, yeah. But how cool is that? I've never actually looked into it. But that looks really cool. I might actually have to get into there at some point during this uh, series. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you for now. We'll be back soon. Okay. It's night time. It's just past midnight. There's lots of monsters around. On edge. But we found an oyster. It's down there somewhere. You can sort of just see it there. And I actually found it from diving to get away from a horde of zombies that were coming after me. So, I'm going to go there. Yeah, there. Right, we're going to go down and get this. Wish us luck. Down we go. Dive! 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 Shit, where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Cool. Pearl oyster. How do I pick you up? I get you? Alright, I got you. Alright, sweet. Now, I might actually call the episode there because I'm God knows how far away from uh, base camp and this might actually be an interesting trip home because one, I need to find it. I mean, I've only just been swimming along the coastline so it shouldn't be too hard to get back there. But uh, I've got to duck and weave from all these mobs and... I'm just about out of food. So, you know what? We'll see you back at base camp. Back in a bit. Okay, this isn't the way that I planned to end this episode, but uh, I've found something interesting. There's something underneath the ocean. Now, I'm almost home, just over there. So, I'm going to have a quick look at this, and if we can't do anything about it now, we may even quickly go back home and get some materials, and we'll uh, put like a pole or something in there. What the hell? Oh. Oh, have I found an end portal? Have I actually found an end portal already? Oh, I need iron to break those. Uh, I hear him. I hear him. I have. I found an end portal. Dudes and dudettes. We have our own friggin' end portal here. Cool. I 
haven't even found one of these in vanilla Minecraft. Cool. If only we could put waypoints. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna, probably going to build just like a huge um, pillar on top of this. And uh, ooh, just use that. But sweet! Come off of air. Use some gravel because I found out that uh, you can't make grout. Completely forgot about that. Alright, go on. Up, 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 up. I'm gonna put a pillar here. I'm gonna put like a fairly large pillar here. Alright, so we're almost back at base camp. It's over there. We've got a pillar here. We're gonna quickly get into our books before we go, and we are go oh not that one. This one, and we are going to claim this reward. And for the reward we get seven extra friggin' pearl oysters. <sighs> Now, next episode, we will look into our Britannia stuff because that should have had enough time to fill up nicely so we can make our proper mana pool instead of our diluted one so we can claim this one. And we get two Hydro Angiers, which uh, are interesting flowers, and we'll go through those next episode. So, um, until then, this is Roan from Roan's Corner, signing off. Peace!